So yeah, let's just have this conversation back and forth until it's not a big deal to us or we find something that freaking remedies the red splotchy chest and neck so that we don't have people pointing at us going, what is wrong with you? Is everything okay? Oh my gosh, which then makes it so much worse. Hey friends, look, it's my favorite thing in the whole wide world, a turtleneck. No, it's actually here in Nashville. It's like super cold in the morning and then it warms up in the afternoon. So I got this like pimpin' sweater. Look at this thing, it's so stinking cute. But if you're a little redneck person like me, am I doing that today? I don't think I've got much going on. Nope. When you have a turtleneck on in the, in, during the workday, uh, don't even have to think about it at all because normally my red splotchiness starts here, works its way up, might come up my neck a little bit, but um, I didn't even have to think about it today because the way this turtleneck sits and the way my hair sits. But also, one thing I noticed today is that I don't really feel like my nervous system was like overly reacting to anything. I don't even think that that happened to me today because I was not itching. Um, I never really got <clears throat> super hot. So anyway, I did a little bit of research and here's what I found out. I have found out, and I'm, I'm gonna go see an allergist to get a little more information, but here's just from now what I've, what I've researched. So, there's not a lot of information out there about the red splotchy chest stuff, but I was reading about, um, um, what's it called? Mast cell activation disorder or mast cell activation syndrome, I think is what it is. But what that is, is where your body, um, well, one of the things that I read, and I could be all wrong, this is just based off of the research that I've done so far. And is that when cortisol releases into your body, the stress hormone, it then activates the mast cells inside of your body. Um, I, think, I think that the cortisol releases histamine and then it's like your body has an allergic reaction to itself because there's histamine all throughout your body um, and literally having an allergic reaction to yourself. So last night I, I had um, a couple of alcoholic beverages and I will try to insert the picture. I don't know that I know how to do that yet, but I will try to insert the picture here. Um, the, the splotches of the alcohol drink, I think there's like one here and there's one here and they're just two big things. But then shortly after that, I went and got in like a scalding hot shower, one where I was putting on <clears throat> self tanner so I had to exfoliate and I was like scrubbing myself really hard. And the red splotchiness, I'll try to insert the picture here, is just completely all over me. It's actually not as noticeable as just the two big whelps because it's like my whole chest is covered. So anyway, all that to say, I think my next step here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to see an allergist. I'm going to talk to a doctor. I don't really love my doctor. I just have her just because, but I need to find a good one because the thing for me is I don't like to jump immediately into medication. I like to take a holistic route, but I'm all for some medicine. Um, I think they work really well together, but I try to find the, the holistic route first, but I love to find a doctor who would be able to help think through some natural remedies, but then also know about medications as well. Because here's what I found out so far. Um, some people will, will talk about high blood pressure and beta blockers. Um, some people try to give you anti-anxiety or anti-depression medication because they think it's social anxiety. If I'm having an allergic reaction, I'm curious to, and it's from the cortisol, I'm curious to know, I, I know mentally when it happens. It's when I'm hot, when my skin goes from like normal temperature to extreme heat all of a sudden. So, but also I do know there's probably a little bit of a social anxiety, especially in my career where I'm having a conversation with my boss, the, the guy who holds the power to my job. And I'm very hypersensitive to if someone's nodding their head with me, if someone's just staring at me really calmly, like I'll almost put my own thoughts into their head of like, does he not like what I'm saying? Is this wrong? Is So I know that that's triggering and um, whether I want it to or not, I just know that that's happening. And so I think cortisol is released at that point and my body is like, <laughs> just like explodes into hives because it's like the histamine's there, let's have a reaction. So I think my next step is I'm going to go see an allergist 
and I'm just gonna have the panel test done. I was supposed to do that a few years ago and I never did it, but just have that testing done that will um, show me if I actually have an intolerance to certain things that might be in my diet. Not really sure. I'm, a man, I'm open to see if that's the case, but I'd like to start there. Um, and then just see their, hear their feedback and, and go from there. So I think I'm gonna start there and I'll probably talk to my functional neurologist um, a, a little more. He's the one who told me, and I, he is incredible, but he's the one that told me it's not a big deal. It's just your blood vessels are sensitive. I don't like that answer. I, it's fine. I mean, I can't walk around like this. Winter's great because you can be like this and you can wear your scarves in the wintertime. But um, I did find it interesting in my last video that I talked in front of the camera, which is where I normally feel that same feeling of judgment or the cortisol level rises. Um, and I, it didn't really get read like that. So maybe a little exposure therapy is helping, but also there are no subscribers and I think I've gotten one view. So, but I know the potential is out there. It's out there. So anyway, just wanted to do a quick follow up on, um, this amazing turtleneck for us red chest chickies <laughs> and guys, I don't know if it's happening to you too, but to us, but I'm going to continue on this journey to just try to see like, what is this? Why is it happening? I don't like the internet research that I find besides the mast cell activation disorder or syndrome. That's the first one that I found that actually made sense. And if you find pictures, it looks just like what I have going on. The only thing is there's like additional symptoms that go with that, like shortness of breath and like a whole list of other crazy ass symptoms. I don't have any of those. So I'm thinking it does have something to do, something to do with the cortisol, that stress hormone in my body, whether it is physiological or psychological, mostly though, I think it's physiological. So curious. I may wind up seeing an allergist. I may wind up seeing a psychologist or psychiatrist. I'm not really sure where this journey is going to lead, but I'm just here to figure out more about what is this and why is it happening? Can we do something about it? Which with, in the research that I find, there's really not much you can do for it. Um, I've read that some people have taken certain medications and that's helped or changed things in their diet and that helped. And I would love that. That'd be so great. And I'd love to share that information with you. But even if we don't find some cure right away. I just think that there is strength in numbers. And so to know that I'm talking to someone who has the same thing going on, that maybe we will figure out that this, as my functional neurologist says, that maybe it's just not that big of a deal. And I would love to see our minds get there. I know I want my mind to get there to where it's just not that big of a deal anymore. So yeah, let's just have this conversation back and forth until it's not a big deal to us or we find something that freaking remedies the red splotchy chest and neck so that we don't have people pointing at us going, what is wrong with you? Is everything okay? Oh my gosh, which then makes it so much worse. So anyway, that is my follow-up today. I just wanted to drop in and say hi. And I thought about you all today when I put this turtleneck on because I was so confident today. Um, I'm also uh, just about to start my period. TMI, I know, but I was reading in the research that there's like this connection between mast cell um, activation disorder syndrome or whatever and um, estrogen and birth control pills. And I've been on birth control for a really long time. So um, I'm curious to know if like on the week that I start my period, you know, you go into like those sugar pills. So is that hormone drop or did the week before the hormone? I don't know. Last week, my red splotchiness was crazy. So far this week, it's Monday. It's literally Monday, but I st the, the pill, my last pill was on Saturday. So I don't know if some, something in my hormones switches. I don't know. That's why I'm saying all this. I don't know, but it's all crazy. And there's all these different things that I'm researching and compiling on paper and taking pictures of different scenarios of when this happens and this happens and this happens. This is what happens to me. Um, alcohol, sunshine, hot showers, <clears throat> um, nerve wracking meetings, things of that nature. And sometimes honestly, just like chilling, chilling and all of a sudden it happens. So just taking different pictures so that I can talk to medical professionals about my situation. And I'll continue to share that information here and record as much of that as I can, but just know you are not alone. And this does not define us. I, it does not define who we are. It just sucks. Um, because I think if we were just red all the time, we'd be like, oh yeah, it's just the red person who's red all the time. <clears throat> Instead of the person who flares up for no freaking reason. And people think you're dying. <coughs> um, but 
it's kind of like when I was younger, I would get, if I never really got like acne, but like even right now, I got a little something going on right here. So I would just get like one pimple or like just something random on my face. And I used to see other people with like the acne across their face or all over their face. And I actually liked theirs better because there was so much of it. So if it was there, to me that was normal. But to just have like one guy show up wherever on your face, I feel like it just stood out so, I feel like it just stood out in such a crazy way. That might just be my mind, but that's how I feel about the red splotchiness. I notice I look at other people that sometimes do get like redness on their body. Look at this, you guys. It's just, an, I'm, you don't make me nervous. For some reason, you don't make me nervous. Maybe because I feel like I found my tribe and we're in it together and, and it won't do it. It will do it eventually. You're gonna see how bad it is, especially when I don't have a uh, turtleneck on. So, um, an amazing turtleneck, by the way. This thing is so stinking cute. Just oh, cute cuteness but it's it's for a lot of us it's winter time so hook yourself up and let's go on this journey together and let's hide that shit for a little bit either we're gonna find some sort of solution for this some answers have a name for it but we're not gonna identify ourselves by that I don't I never want to walk around saying I'm April and I have XYZ disorder I just don't believe in identifying by disorders or syndromes or all the other things but I think it's nice to be able to give a story to yes I am red like that and this is why and being able to share a story behind why this happens to me almost to ease the discomfort of the people around me and I don't even know that they're actually like uncomfortable I think they're nervous about it like are they are genuinely wondering are you okay so either that or it could be something so simple for me or for you, like like a um, intolerance to something in our diet. Could you imagine if you've been dealing with this for years and the social discomfort of that and then all of a sudden you find out you just have like an allergy to dairy. Something crazy, you know? And so I can't even imagine it being that simple, but it'd be awesome if it is. And Or it's like, I don't know, some other things going on. I just... I don't want to identify by something that sometimes makes me feel very insecure and run down because there are other times, and like I said, not even just because I'm wearing a turtleneck right now, but there are other times where I just feel so chill and my cortisol levels are not kicking in like that and my adrenals are not pumping. And I don't know why that is. It could be my thyroid, it could be a lot of different things, but I'm just curious to go on an adventure to kind of embrace my body and find out what's going on with it and see if it is the body mind connection again like i said i don't think it's a lot of psychological stuff because i've done a lot of inner healing and had a lot of psychological work done um could be but i think it is physiological and i'm very curious um to get into what that is i think i've said that 20 million times so anyway we are so much bigger than this, but it doesn't hurt to go figure out what the hell is going on with my body because there's a lot of help out there. You just have to go find it, which is the only thing for me that's kind of holding me up a little bit is wondering what if I get, I, I just don't want to get with a doctor who just wants to throw medication at me. I want someone who's going to listen to me and not just go, this is the book definition. I want them to actually evaluate me, what's going on, and listen to what I would like to see, and then help me with that. But I will keep you posted, and I'll continue to check back here. It'll probably be a little bit before I get that uh, appointment scheduled, but I'll just continue to come here. And again, I put all my um, V-neck shirts in my closet the other day, shirts that I never wear, that I'm gonna wear here, and hope that it just like explodes in this hive, red, splotchy, blotchy, so that you can see that we are in it together. But I'll catch you next time, okay? See you later. You would you would almost think that I'm making this up because I just talked to this camera under this ring light that's super hot. In a warm room, I'm in my upstairs bonus room, it's kind of warm up here, and still nothing. I don't wanna stretch this out really bad, but nothing. I normally would be so splotched right now just because of the discomfort of getting in front of a camera sometimes. And, and I can see myself, there's a, a screen, <laughs> excuse me, right next to the lens. I can see myself there and just trying to perfect this and trying to do it perfect, I, and I, which is crazy because I'm not a perfectionist, but sometimes when it comes to speaking on camera, 
or I can see myself, I just become extra sensitive or hyper aware of me. So yeah, it's just crazy that that, I'm just comfortable with you, I guess. I'm comfortable sitting and having a conversation with what might be an audience on the other end of this camera that can fully relate to what I've been going through for many years now. So I'm excited. I'm excited about this. I was terrified in my last video. If you watched it, I'll link it below. But that was the first moment that I really just came out and talked about how terrified I was and didn't want to be. So I think this, the whole purpose of all of this was to create a healing journey to find some answers and find some healing and, or to find some, um, acceptance maybe regardless of what the outcome is. So I'm glad that we're on this journey together and I'll continue to update you. Like I said already, but again, I got nothing, nothing. It's crazy. I promise I'm not making this up. I wish I was, but I'm not. See you soon. All right. See ya.